What's up? What's up? What's up? I want to talk to y'all for a minute. Uh, where am I going to go? I'm going to go out in this deck. How y'all been, though? I know y'all ain't seen me in a while. But I'm going to go outside for a minute. All right, so the question is, when, when is enough enough? You know what I mean, when are we as a people going to finally decide that we could be better individually and as a group? You know what I mean? So I, I come, I'm asking this because like the past year man i've been trying to show some people ways to get out of this situations financially and they just don't listen but you broke yeah i mean when is enough is going to be enough yeah i mean when you're going to finally decide to take that that initiative to say you know what i gotta do what i gotta do to get the hell out of this situation because the economy is going to get worse. And not, I'm not even talking about just strictly money-wise. It's a mental thing. Like, when are you going to finally wake up and tell yourself you can do better? Yeah, you know I mean, because this generation is just like so content on what it is. And we're being played. Because I've been doing a lot of studying on economics and how the government plays us and we always play we always play the game but they always win you know it got to be a time in your life when you say enough is enough you know what i mean so what's yours like what is your i'm writing a book called uh check engine light because a check engine light when you see that on your car is trying to tell you something's wrong and more and a lot of times people ignore that light and it leads to destruction of your vehicle which might even cause you to lose money because you can't get to work so what is your check engine light like what do you need to come on to wake you up to say yo i, I need to get my life together man because the way things going it's kind of writing on the walls that another crash is coming like a bad economy crash and what are you doing to prepare yourself you know what i mean so i might do some more videos like this because it's some stuff i want to i want to address um to our people man when i say our people i mean people like 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 us like we we're considered the peons the step-ons i mean compared to a lot of power in the world so but education is missing like it's a lot of education that's not given to us growing up and i look at my my parents my you know my grandparents and it's just we all been following the same cycle go to school get a job and you work till you die because we don't invest in nothing we don't have nothing that gives us income to where we could take care of our kids and our kids gonna live off our name. You know I mean, our name should be an asset for our kids. But instead, we just work and don't do nothing else. Where cash is becoming less and less of a value each year. 2019, Whatever you paid for four hundred dollars today is now one hundred and seven dollars, but you didn't get an eight dollar raise, so it's working against us. So you got to work out. You need to figure out what it is you could do to break that 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 curve. Yeah, you know I mean it's a it's a curve that you got to learn how to flatten. And if we if you don't learn how to do it now, you're gonna regret it. It's gonna be a lot of hurt people in the future. You know what I mean? So But I'm with a couple, you know, the groups that we all try to get that together. I'm also even in a group with um I'm in a program where, you know, Wall Street trapping and stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of studying, man. The more studying I do, the more upset I get 
at the way we live, how we just blow money recklessly and don't even invest in nothing. I mean, so I just want to get that off my chest. So if y'all want some more videos like this, let me know, man, because I got a lot. I got a lot, man. What's up with what's up to Big Scythe and TK, D Dog, everybody? But uh, yeah, I just want to get that off, man. I apologize.